Obviously, I learned everything I know about art and music in Kentucky growing up. Uh, the Macintosh family, uh, my maiden name, uh, lived in Monticello and then in Somerset, and the Macintoshes sang everywhere. Uh, I don't think there was a funeral or a graduation or three or four gathered together that the Macintoshes weren't in there singing. Uh, my father was in a quartet, uh, and my sister had the great talent of being able to play the piano and sing alto, which I admired greatly. Uh, but what I learned with the music in, in the hills uh, and around me in Kentucky have stayed with me forever. But the best thing in the world that I think I did in all this singing was to sing with the band, Tinker Baggerly and his orchestra at the university. And I loved it. Oh, my, I loved it. This wonderful idea of just standing there when you hear that music rise behind you, no words can describe it. When, uh, when I first ran for Congress in 1982, that night that I won, the room was full. It was just electric. I mean, 18 restaurants had given us food that day. Churches had opened their doors. And they, they didn't know me all that well, but they sure knew a lot about him. And, uh, and we had won, and I turned to my husband and just suddenly said to him, all I ever wanted to do was be a blues singer. He always just elected to Congress, so you could tell I've always had my priorities straight. I've been chairing the Arts Caucus for a while. We've had some difficulty getting people much who wanted to. Um, we went through a pretty hard time. Uh, we had literally people elected to Congress who came just simply to kill the National Endowment for the Arts. And I want to tell you that as far as I'm concerned, art doesn't have to apologize to anybody. Art tells us who we were, who we are right now, and who we hope to be. And that is a great gift that we get, the gift of beauty, uh, the gift of enlightenment, the gift of hope, the gift to be able to, to salve your broken heart, whatever you are requiring. Art can do that for you. We've also found, in addition to that, and as a member of Congress, I value this, how much smarter it makes you. Did you know that if you have four years of art in high school, that your verbal scores on the SATs go up 57 points? And that there is such a correlation between studying keyboard Computers, Westinghouse, and all those major corporations have told me time and again that they really love to make sure that their people working for them have had musical training. Art is all around us. Art is beautiful in those rolling hills of Kentucky and those white fences with those incredible thoroughbreds standing behind them and the lovely villages and towns that are there and stood there through the ages and generations. We live with it. We know the value of it. Thank you so very much for giving me this honor. I appreciate it from the bottom of my Kentucky heart. Thank you.